Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a week in the life vlog. I haven't done one of these in such a long time. I think since the first week of junior year, which means that was in August and we are now in mid-November, kind of mid-ish November, about halfway through. Today's video is just going to be me vlogging this week. It is the week of the 14th to the 19th. Plan to vlog all five days. And yeah, just kind of show you guys what it looks like. We're ramping up to the end. My next week in the life vlog will probably be finals week and then we'll not see a week in the life vlog until the second semester of college. I just wanted to start off this video because I know when I'm vlogging throughout the day, my vlogging isn't the best. Um, but I'm gonna try to get a good video out for you guys just because when I look back on this, I wanna know what I was doing and things like that. I'm gonna insert my Google Calendar right now because I had done that in a video before and this is just like what my week looks like i usually don't hit everything um sometimes i miss out on things because i need the time for myself or like when i schedule in homework or study time sometimes i don't actually do homework and study um it's very flexible just because that's life life you can't exactly plan out you don't have control um, but yeah, that is kind of my little game plan for this week. As you can see on the calendar, today is Monday. And so I have Portuguese, English, and then I work, and then I'm actually on duty and have a staff meeting today. So Mondays are usually pretty busy for me. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and head to class. It's actually 9.20, class doesn't start till 10. I think I might get a chai, iced chai with mocha syrup. I tried that on, or actually I tried that yesterday, yeah, on Sunday, and it was so good, and I think I want another one. I wasn't going to try to have a chai today, but it just, it just sounds good. We're not going to do a soda today, because I've been having chai and soda, and I think that's really bad, but I am going to go on Grubhub and order a chai with mocha syrup. I, I don't know how good that is for you, but I know it tastes pretty good, so... That's what I'm gonna get. I deleted Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. I completely deleted my Snapchat account, I think in September. So it's been a very long while since I had that. Um, but yesterday I went ahead and deleted Snap, or sorry, I deleted Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter, all my social media apps, apart from like Be Real and YouTube and Pinterest. I think those are the only social media apps I have. I have already picked up my phone several times going to like look at those and that's exactly why I deleted it is because I've been getting on them way too much and I just think it'll be a nice little break. I honestly don't think I'm gonna get them back until the new year. I think that might be nice just to better myself. If I feel the need to scroll, I can read, I can pray, things like that. I'm trying to just grow my relationship with God right now. <laughs> um, if you guys have seen like the past few videos, this semester has been very weird, but also very transformational for me personally, like with my relationship with God. I actually got baptized. I did a little vlog talking about that. Um, but yeah, just like very transformational, but certainly weird. And so instead of depending on social media, that is my plan. Um, but yeah, I have rambled long enough, so let's get into this vlog. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Did you not notice if you said no. <laughs> I heard you move! <laughs> Searching my back. I caught that on camera. What, what, what did I do? Did I move your shirt? I don't know, but I was going to scare you, and you ended up scaring me. <laughs> um, I'm vlogging this week, so Yay. I wanted to. I'm stretching my back. It hurts so bad. Anywho, Monday's almost over. These are cute tabs. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. I'm um, I just wanted to catch you guys up. If you hear the wood wick burning, it's fake. It's a fake wood wick sound. It's her diffuser. <laughs> Anyways, candle Monday, it's almost five. Um, Anna picked me up from work because I thought it was going to be raining slash snowing, but it wasn't. And so she didn't need to pick me up, but she did, which was very nice. It's cold out, so it's it is. It is very chilly outside. Um... 
but yeah we're just hanging in Anna's room I think we may get dinner but also we may not I'm trying to figure that out usually we go to Chick-fil-a on Mondays but this Monday that did not happen but that's fine because I'm gonna get a burger probably and Anna's gonna get a chicken chicken crunchy chicken cheddar crunchy chicken what crunchy chicken cheddar <laughs> Crunchy chicken cheddar. Yeah, you got it. Um, I wish I could have one of those, like, an actual one. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys because I didn't really vlog since classes and then I worked. But that's a little update from yes. Anna and me. At the Taylor Swift thing. I'll put it here. The pre-sale thing. Anna didn't, but her friends did. So she should still get tickets. So, all good. We had to just burn the whole house down. There was too much. <laughs> you put like a blue light in there. Oh, just bright, bright. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Good morning, guys. Okay, so it is Tuesday. I actually just got off the phone with my mom. Um, we've been talking on the phone every day, which has been really nice. Where is the shooting? Oh god, okay. So it's 7.40. I actually got to sleep in today. I think it's partly because yesterday I woke up at like 4.30 on duty. So I had rounds at 11. So I didn't go to bed until like 11.40 maybe-ish. I don't really know. But anyways, I woke up at 6 and then slept in for another hour. Journaled. I just did my staff evaluation. So I'm still, I'm still on duty. I have the phone for the next... 18 minutes. I'm not going to take a shower until I turn on the phone because I swear as soon as I take a shower, that phone's going to ring. I'm actually going to do the duty log right now. But Taylor Swift tickets are um, like being sold today and I'm so nervous. I had my one-on-one -on -one from 9.30 to 10. So, um, yep. whoa. Minutes until I have to turn on the phone. My class actually got canceled for today. I don't know if I already said that my 11 a.m. and it snowed actually i will show you guys as soon as my op i open my blinds but i'm not going to open it until i've showered and changed um but let's see if it's still snowing right now it snowed throughout the night no it's not snowing anymore it's probably not as pretty as it was like first thing in the morning because it's probably started melting and things like that but Anyways, yeah, my class got canceled at 11 a.m. because there were no stories posted and our entire point is my creative writing class. And if you haven't written anything, we can't critique your story. So there's no point in class. So yeah, on Thursday, my story gets critiqued, which is kind of scary. I feel like I do not like my story at all. I literally wrote it this, this weekend and it's just not that good. But anyways, um... Yeah, I got my pre-sale code. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to get tickets. I'm going to freaking get tickets because it doesn't, it's not going to work if I don't get tickets. My mom is so excited. Um, yeah, because I'm going with my mom. I don't know if I've already said that or not. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Oh my gosh, just a little update. Today is gonna be fun because I just have one class, obviously. So, um, let's look at the let's look at the schedule really fast. Yeah, so I have my one on one Taylor Swift uh, sale story due. Just planning on doing homework, and then yeah, I have my class at two thirty. I have a hit class at five fifteen. And then I have one of my clubs at 7 this afternoon. My throat is kind of feeling sore, which is not good. Um, cannot be sick. Do not want to be sick right now. So I might go eat a cough drop. Just probably see you guys for the Taylor Swift tour ticket sale. Because I'll probably try to vlog. But yeah okay bye okay guys i'm back i'm all ready for the day i took a shower returned the phone and turned in my staff evaluation and then i got a chai with the mocha syrup i think i talked about this yesterday but actually yesterday i actually instead of getting the mocha drizzle i just got mocha and like the flavoring it was so really good but i think i prefer the drizzle i'm like i should definitely not be drinking chocolate at eight in the morning but it's fine, it's fine. Um, but yeah, it's 8.24 right now. I have my one-on-one -on -one at 9.30, so I don't have anything for the next hour. So I think I'm just gonna 
hang out. I think I'm gonna read. I'm trying to finish a book, so. Yeah, that's the update. Okay guys, it is Wednesday. We, um, I actually just filmed another video literally just in this spot, so it's kind of funny. I did a tier ranking little video, which was fun. But anyways, I have, oh, I didn't even talk about this. I got Taylor tickets for July 8th in Kansas City. I think July 8th. It's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be my first time seeing her in concert. The tickets are absolute nosebleeds. They suck, but I'm going. And that's all I'm excited. Like, I'm so excited for that. Um, and yeah, tickets weren't that expensive because they're such bad seats. But honestly, I don't really care. Cause like I said, it's gonna be my first time seeing Taylor in person. It's gonna be my second concert ever. I just went to my first concert in October and I saw Role Model, which was super cool. Cause it, he and I like made eye contact. I was like right next to him. So the fact that I got to experience like an intimate concert for the first time, and now I'm gonna go to a huge one is super exciting. But anyways, yeah, that's what happened yesterday. It just kind of took a chill day <laughs> yesterday since I was, um, try to get Taylor tickets but yeah today I have class at 10 it's currently 8 30 and so I have Portuguese and then I have English and then I have a break until 4 30 when I have my honor seminar that I'm a seminar assistant for and so that's 4 30 to 5 20 and then I don't have I do have KU Scribble tonight but I don't think I'm gonna go to it um which is it's just a writing club so it's okay if I miss and then I have my secret tonight which is super exciting it's our last one before uh, fall break so we won't have it for another two weeks or not fall break sorry Thanksgiving break and yeah just kind of chill I went to go edit a video that me and my girlfriends filmed but it's super blurry and I'm really sad because it was us trying to name Taylor Swift's entire discography and I'm like I really hope that it works because I want I want to upload that video but anyways yeah, that's just a little update. I wanted to update you guys. I got my chai again. It tastes a little weird today. I don't really know what it is about it, but anyways, I am breaking out. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys. Okay, so I haven't vlogged at all today, I know, but I had a very busy day. Just classes. I actually just got back from C Group. It's 8.30. And I'm going to do a little book haul because I got some new books recently. So, yeah. Um, the first three I got at Target, they were having a buy two get one free. I haven't bought books in a very long time, since September I think, and so when I saw this deal I thought it was very good, so I went ahead and did it. So I got the cheat sheet, I actually have already read this, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, this one is super small, I feel like this gained a lot of traction and things like that, but it's a fake dating, sports romance friends to lovers like all three of those trips and it was super cute what i have is the american roommate experience which this is like the second book in the spanish love deception so it's like this you don't have to read the spanish love deception but it has the same characters and i have heard that this one is better than the spanish love deception so i'm super excited to read it um yeah this is about rosie and i can't remember if rosie is catalina's cousin or if it's her best friend but super excited Next one I got is a little Christmas romance, holiday romance, and it's Home Sweet Christmas. And it kind of looks like it has two point lines or two um, storylines, which I think will be really interesting. And I am super excited because I'm going to read this in December when it gets holiday ish. And yeah, I'm excited for this one. I have is actually a recommendation from one of my instructors, and that is Save the Cat Writes a Novel, the last book on novel writing you'll ever need. So it's like if you ever are like interested in writing, you have to read this. And so I went ahead and picked it up. Obviously, this is like writing a novel and there's Save the Cat has different ones. But yeah, I'm super excited for this. I don't know when I will read this, but eventually I will. And yeah, that's that. And then my latest book in the book, the last book I'm going to buy for a while is it just got here today and it is called jesus over every everything uncomplicating the daily struggle to put jesus first i basically looked up books that was like trusting god's plan this one came up and it had the highest reviews so i just picked it up and this one i'll go ahead and read the back of it just because it says we all want to live simpler lives and to put jesus first but we struggle struggle with both 
While we are busy strategizing new ways to streamline our calendars and clean out the clutter in our closets, what really needs attention is what will give us long-term clarity and peace, the priority order of having Jesus over everything in our lives. In a culture that carries the confusion of overindulgence, endless options, and influencer voices, the Jesus, Jesus First life clears our minds and hearts and noise so our souls can find true meaning and rest. So, yeah, I'm just really excited for this. Hopefully it will help me just a little bit with, like, that struggle. Um, I feel like I haven't really done... I know this isn't a devotional, it's a novel, but I'm... Or not a novel, sorry, it's... I don't think... It's not fiction, but, um... I just feel like I haven't read, like, a Christian book since I finished my last devotion. So I'm excited for this. And, yeah, that's just my little, it's a little, small little book haul. But I just wanted to add it in because I haven't got new books in such a, like, a little while. I did buy two books in October. One of them was a pre-order that I had since February. And the other I bought while I was in Michigan. So, yeah, it's just been the first time I've had a little book haul, which is kind of fun. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and honestly get ready for bed. I think I'm going to go to the gym in the morning and yeah that's it I had this like huge pimple show up this past few days and it's bugging me so bad but yeah that's it hey guys oh, it is Thursday morning it's about 9 a.m whoa that was really weird it's almost 9 a.m and I woke up at 6 this morning I went ahead and worked out did a little hit workout just 25 minutes it was really good I actually took a shower and washed my hair so it's still drying I'm gonna curl it um, and I actually just completed two homework assignments which for my creative writing class I just critiqued two other stories my story is getting critiqued today which is a little nerve-wracking but it'll be fine I have two classes today I have my creative writing class like I just said and then I have um, my English 317, which is like remixing American literature. And we are discussing Emily Dickinson today, which is so fun. She's a great poet. So I have to pick out a poem that I really like. And I think I'm going to do the When I Died, I Heard a Fly Buzz. Or I might be getting the title wrong, but it's something like that. Um, when I first heard that, I just loved that poem. So that's the one I'm going to do. I'm going to hang out with Libby. Libby and I, for the past three weeks, I think, have been hanging out. Um, or this will be our third week, I think. We've been hanging out on Thursdays after my class. And what we've been doing is just watching American Horror Story and getting dinner, which I think is really fun because we used to hang out so much last year. Obviously, we were living in the same building. And so just like proximity makes things closer or like just makes things easier. I guess that's the right word to say. Um, and so we scheduled in time. And so this is our third week doing it. And we're going back and forth on where we go. So I'm going to be going to her apartment. And yeah, we're just going to watch the new season of American Horror Story. We've been watching like two episodes. And then after that, I have Salt. Um, and yeah, just that's kind of the plan. Getting homework done. I need to do... Portuguese homework for tomorrow and um yeah my computer is updating right now I also got some tea from Starbucks I got the medicine ball I haven't ever gotten it and oh my gosh it is so good my throat has kind of been hurting me and I feel like I'm congested a little bit um and this just has been helping I ate a banana and peanut butter this morning which is also very good I'm not kidding get the medicine balls because they are so good obviously it's just tea so I'm not expecting to be like cured but also I'm like expecting to be cured you know I'm excited because today I think I'm gonna hear back about um, my Cole Sap I got nominated for being an officer I got nominated as treasurer and the ballot closed last night and I'm I don't really <laughs> Here's the thing is, like, as cool as it would be to be, like, an officer for a club, I also know how much work it takes, and I'm in two other clubs, and so I'm not saying that I couldn't do it, because obviously, like, I ran for it and things like that, but I'm just saying I'm not going to be disappointed if I don't get it. I remember if, if this had been, like, even freshman year of college, and I had run for a position and I didn't get it, I would have been crushed, but now I'm just... I'm just content with what I have and I'm very grateful that I'm in a mind space where that like has 
that's like the end goal is just being content with whatever I'm given and what I have which I think is so good um sorry I'm not trying to get like preachy or anything like that that's just how I've been feeling so we'll probably hear back about that I'll let you know I also submitted a piece in the kiosk magazine which is a I think they do it two times like one copy or how do they do it one issue a semester I think maybe or maybe they just do one issue per year I'm not exactly sure <laughs> it's a literary magazine but also they take like art submissions and their theme for this issue I'll insert a picture here was like organism so submit anything alive their prompts are very broad and very they're very interesting I think I'm gonna actually try to be a part of like the staff um, next semester because I think it'd be cool to see the back end of it but anyways um I submitted a piece and some people have heard back some people haven't and I'm one of the people that hasn't heard back so if I hear back before Friday like when I end this vlog tomorrow I'll let you guys know if it gets submitted it would be really cool if it did get submitted well, I'm not really sure because I feel like I don't know it was my first submission I don't exactly know what they were looking for so again that's another one of those things where I'm like if I do get accepted, that would be awesome. Great resume, like, booster. Um, but I'm not going to be, like, overly disappointed because I know I can submit again in the future and things like that. So, anyways. But see these earrings? These are by Jane Jewelry. I have mentioned Jane Jewelry probably for the past two years, two and a half years, just since I've been at college. Um, one of my... One of my girlfriend's sisters makes these jewelry, or she makes the jewelry, and she has an Etsy shop, and I've mentioned it several times, but I'm going to link it down below because she gave me a discount code, and so I think it'd be really cool if you guys could utilize that. So I will put that in the link. She has, yeah, just handmade jewelry. Um, I love it. It's the only earrings I wear. If you see me wearing a set of earrings, you can find it on her Etsy shop, unless they're obviously sold out, but I'm not kidding. Like, I have like this hold on I'll just show you so so these are from Jane Jewelry let's see these disco balls love these butterflies just have like simple like pearls and more like extravagant beading stuff like this but anyways I just wanted to mention that because I thought that was cool and it was really nice of her to do that um but yeah if you want to use that use it use it since Christmas is coming up you can do some gift shopping get some jewelry for the gals or guys who wear earrings because like I said I love them they're it's like the only earrings I wear so I definitely recommend but anyways yeah I need to brush my teeth actually because since I had that medicine ball I did not brush them yet so I'm gonna floss and brush my teeth and yeah don't know why I told you guys that this vlog is gonna be so interesting because it's literally just me vlogging every morning so I apologize for that the finals week vlog I'm gonna vlog at all times of the day I swear um but yeah this is it's just my first vlog in a while so anyways <laughs> um I'm gonna actually start reading the American roommate experiment yesterday I told you guys I started love on the brain finished it I rated it four stars I think or no I rated it five stars actually medicine ball from Starbucks again it's so good like I love it I just can't get over it I can't believe I never tried it I love tea so not surprised by the fact that I enjoy it but anyways I've already talked about this book I am gonna read the back because it's the second book in the series but like you don't have to read the Spanish love deception to read this but Rosie the girl character was best friends with Catalina the first main character and this guy, don't know his name, is cousins with Catalina. So that's kind of like how they're inter interconnected. Um, here's what it says. Sometimes love just needs a little inspiration. Rosie Graham has a problem. A few, actually. She just quit her well-paid job to focus on her secret career as a romance writer, only to enter, only to enter a creative slump. Then the ceiling of her New York apartment literally crumbles on her. She heads to her best friend Lena's apart empty apartment, not knowing that Lena has already lent the studio to her cousin Lucas, who Rosie has been stalking, for lack of a better word, on Instagram. To Rosie's surprise, Lucas off offers to let her stay with him, at least until she can find some affordable, temporary housing. 
Soon Rosie discovers that Lucas is intent on coming to her rescue like a Spanish knight in shining armor. Only this one strolls around the place in a towel, has a distracting grin, an irresistible accent, and comes with a set of mad cooking skills. <sighs> oh my gosh. And when Lucas learns of Rosie's writer, writer's block, he proposes an outrageous idea to bring back her literary muse and meet her deadline. He'll take her on a series of experimental dates meant to jumpstart her romantic inspiration. Rosie has nothing to lose. Her silly online crush is totally under control. But Lucas's stay in New York has an expiration date, and six weeks may may not be enough time for either her or her deadline. So it's a deadline romance. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for this. Uh, so I'm assuming this takes place after the first book, because Rosie still worked where the two main characters of the Spanish Love Deception worked. I'm not going to spoil that, but... I did like the Spanish Love Deception. I rated it four stars, so you should read it. But anyways, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm reading this now. It's like 8.20 in the morning. Oh my gosh, guys. It is so cold outside. Um, I walked to class and I walked back. I actually am getting back way later than I typically do because my class gets out at 10.50. But it's currently 12 on the dot because I actually ran into my friends Ashley and Major um, at the underground when I was going to get a little snack. So I ended up eating lunch there and just chatting with them, which was really cool to see them. I usually see them every Wednesday, so it's not like I haven't seen them in a while. But we made plans to hang out tomorrow. It's cool to see them and hang out. But going to the girls' house at 1, which I don't think I've ever showed the girls' house. I don't know why, but basically Kristen and Allison, who were two of my roommates from freshman year, which I have a whole bunch of vlogs from freshman year if you want to watch that, um, we... We kind of like separated because Kristen and Allison got a house with three other, three other girlfriends of ours, Cena, Al, uh, well, Cena, Annie, and Tyler, and so they all have this house together, which is one of my favorite things. It's just a walk away, and yeah, Libby and I obviously we were RAs. Libby's in an apartment now. I'm still an RA, but yeah, I just I can't believe I was like watching old vlogs because that's what I tend to do. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever shown 525. And so I'll do that in this vlog. I don't know if I mentioned this in this vlog. My breath is reeking. I don't know what it is, but it is horrendous. And I brush my teeth, I floss, I use mouthwash, and it just started on Wednesday. And the thing is, is I had a tonsillectomy, so I don't have tonsils. So I don't think I can get tonsil stones. But I'm like, what is going on in my mouth? Like, you guys know I've been drinking my medicine balls, and I'm like, I, like, what is happening? I don't freaking know, but anyways, that's my issue. It's like, it tastes so bad, and I want it to go away. But anyways, we have like an hour until I need to be at Kristen's, so I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. I might read my book a little, a little bit more, but I'm just gonna take a break and like get rewarmed before I, before I have to walk again, but yeah, that's a chaotic update. We're back! I haven't been in one of these in so long. I was thinking about it. I think the last vlog where everyone was in it was last fall break. Okay, that's amazing. Michigan. So we're back. We're back. This is Kristen's house because I never vlogged. This is our living room. So cute. Dining we just, room. We just watched our Kitchen. RV. It was so good it was amazing i love robin williams yeah it had me cracking up <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny certain. and jojo yeah. was in it and yes. josh hutcherson uh, yep yeah, don't know his last name hutcherson and yeah it was just really good i would recommend it, it it was a fun like hour 30 ish a perfect movie movie but yeah we just spent our friday together Yee. let's go say hi to cena <laughs> <laughs> She's vlogging a week in her life. This is Cena's room. <laughs> it's clean. I it was so tiny. good. Such good time. Oh, her room looks oh, like this all the time. This is what it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you forget that it's there sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. The time. Honestly. She wakes up from her dreams. She's just like, <laughs> what if like you woke up and someone was. Low key. 
don't need this. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, they, have, they have it bolted at the bottom. Okay. So. Honestly, forgot that door was there. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. So, this room is so cute. Thank you. Oh, you, God. Have you ever opened that? No. <laughs> Literally these. <laughs> what are you doing tonight, Sina? Tonight, I'm working. Nice. Fields and Ivy. Fields and Ivy. If you're in Lawrence, go there. Mm -hmm. Sina's the best. Ask for, ask for Sina Passons, but she also goes by Penis Passons. <laughs> they go in the penis or Pina? No, penis. <laughs> penis. Can I, um... Can I have penis Can pass? I have penis pass? <laughs> They'd be like... Anyways. Oh my gosh, look at all of Cena's books. Did you get like a case for your camera? Yeah. It's case. really cute. Thanks. I thought it was one of those film cameras. It's just a little case from Amazon. I'm like, how much is it? Um. Yeah. <laughs> the vlog has been missing that, honestly. I know, I know. <laughs> I was looking at old vlogs from freshman year. Really? Yeah. And I literally shoot in all of them. And every single one, every every single one, I'm like talking to the camera like this and Kristen's in the background going, oh <laughs> every single vlog. Every one. Every single one. Right, I'll right, be like sure. this. And I'm like, okay, so I had a really hard day. <laughs> That's literally, and I'm wearing this sweatshirt. I'm covering it vividly. Oh, anyways, it's, it's you gotta have a compilation of me just shooting. I should. Yeah. yeah, it's getting so funny. Like, insert, miss... insert shooting clips here. Yeah. She'll just be like. <laughs> and I miss freshman year so bad. Yeah. I don't miss it, but I miss it. the energy. The energy of it. Yeah. Like I miss game nights. Mm -hmm. Literally every single weekend. Mm -hmm. So yeah. fun. But now we're all growing up, so. <laughs> so. That's true. You don't have to grow up. <laughs> oh, don't you ever grow up. That's don't a sad song. Okay, that's it. Anyways, 525. Five. We'll Bye. talk to you guys later. Sunday I took this vlog a little bit longer than I planned on just because we ended up going 
to the basketball game and football game and it was so much fun I actually went over to my friend Bree's house at halftime so fun and cute I didn't take any vlog clips but they served us hot chocolate which was really sweet my friend Grace got to meet some of my friends but it was just really sweet it was just a good week and yeah I have one day of class tomorrow and then I'm going home for Thanksgiving break I'll be vlogging then too um, but yeah, just wanted to end off this video. Sorry I didn't show as much. I'm trying to get better at that. So next vlog, I'm going to show more than talk because I know I just kept on updating you guys. But yeah, that is the end of this video and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.